What is going on everybody? Today we are going to put new wiring in a Telecaster and we're going to talk about why you would want to change the pots in your guitar, what that means. We're going to do a little before and after, kind of have a little fun with that. So let's get going. So for those of you that are new to this project or new to this channel, uh, we got a series going right now. So do me a favor and hit the subscribe button and the like button and the little bell next to it. And um, also, if you're into this thing, put a comment below and let me know what you might want to see on a Telecaster project. So far, uh, we've done a, a good setup on it, so it, it plays great. We've done uh, a new set of pickups in it. We've got links to those below. And today we're going to put new pots and cap and switch and stuff in it. We're going to talk about why you'd want to do that. And then we've got another video coming. I think we might play with some saddle stuff, uh, maybe some string through versus top loader, you know, fun stuff like that. So anyway, that's what we're doing. Uh, so let's talk about pots. So a Telecaster comes with a volume and a tone, usually a 250K pot uh, in both, a three-way switch, and it has a 0 0.015 microfarad capacitor usually. And we're gonna take this apart and see what's in here for real in just a minute. Uh, why would you wanna switch the pots on your guitar? Well, number one, uh, if you have a problem, obviously, if they get scratchy and dirty and you use some deoxit, for example, and which is a like a solvent uh, slash lubricant that you would use to clean them, uh, electronic components and it doesn't really work and you know you've got worn spots in it maybe and maybe it doesn't work so obviously if it's not working you want to replace stuff the other reason would be if you don't like the taper so you know how some guitars you turn them down a little bit and it just is like a switch it just like shuts off you don't even just you don't even like it um, that could be a thing the other reason could be you don't like the pots that go with the pickups in the guitar. So 250K pots versus 500K pots, like that sort of thing. Um, so we, there's a couple reasons why you would wanna change it. Kind of all of the above in this situation. So we're gonna go ahead and take these out. I'll show you what's in this guitar versus what we're putting in it. Uh, I will tell you, as we do the before and after of this today, this is a very subjective thing sometimes. Depending on your rig, because some some rigs are more they'll you'll hear more of a difference with some rigs like some amp and guitar combinations you'll hear more of a difference sometimes uh, some pickup and pot combinations you'll hear more of a difference so we might go through all of this and you might be like well that was totally useless i didn't hear any difference at all some other people in the comments might be like oh i could totally hear a difference it's a little bit subjective, number one, and also, besides the quality part, and also, again, your rig is gonna make a big difference with this. The quality of your cable is gonna make a big difference with this. So if you have a high quality cable, a really nice amp, lots of uh, adjustability in your amp, it's possible that you could make these changes with just adjusting stuff, or you might have to make these changes in the guitar. It's kind of subjective. so. There'll be people in the comments and they'll be like, oh, I don't even hear any difference. That's, that's the dumbest thing ever. But it's kind of different for everybody. So let's uh, do some before tests. And let's just hear what the guitar sounds like with the stock stuff.
Okay, so the thing that I would love to change about this guitar is when it's at 10, and then you go down to like 7, I would like it to be a little bit less volume cut right there. I would like to have a little bit more distance between how loud 10 is and how loud 7 is. That's just a little personal preference of mine. That's probably the biggest thing. I feel like there's just not enough adjustability because the way I like to play guitar is I like to have just an amp with a little drive on it like this, just a little dirty, and then I like to clean it up with the knob. And I feel like this cuts the volume down too much to do that and do it effectively. So I would like to have a little bit more adjustability in there. So we're gonna probably change the taper of the pots by when, when we change the brand, the taper's gonna change a little bit. That's probably my, my biggest pet peeve. So, well, let's just do it. So let's go ahead and get this thing apart and see what's in here. I kinda already know, cause I, when I put the pickups in, I got to look, uh, but it'll be cool to show you. We'll talk about it. Cause there was a little bit of a pleasant surprise when I got in here actually. For those of you that are classic, classic vibe folks, so what we have is these uh, little baby pots. I believe they are 200, yep, they're 250K pots. Um, one of the cool kind of surprises is there is a regular blade switch in there. Now it is still like a cheaper kind, but it, at least it's better than one of those box switches that they used to come with, which is pretty cool. Then you got your little chiclet cap. That is a 22. Oh, that's interesting. What did we use it for this? We used a 15, okay. So a typical Tele is gonna come with a 0 0.015 cap. It's gonna come with 250K pots. It's gonna come with an Oak Grigsby switch like this one. Um, now we use the Pure Tone uh, jacks on our guitars or you know on our kits when we do them. So we're gonna do that. So let's go ahead and get this thing out of here. Should just be a couple of wires. Take the pickup wires off. And take the jack out. All right. So that's all out of there. So there it is. Just pops out in one, one fell swoop like that. We are gonna go ahead and Install these parts. All right, so typically when I do this, uh, they're double nutted. So I use one nut on here, kind of down about that far to set the depth so that the knob doesn't stick too far out. All right. Now the other thing we're gonna do on this is we're gonna replace the output jack because, or not the output jack, but the actual jack in the guitar. So we gotta get that little cleat out of there because we're gonna put an electro socket in this thing. All right, it's all done. Let's give this thing a whirl. <laughs> Okay, so it might be a little bit hard for you to hear from where you are, um, but first of all, I think it just sounds different. Obviously, we have a different cap value in here, and this is like the correct cap value for a telly, in my opinion. Uh, the .015, it sounds great. 
250k pots switch is functional switch is perfect the biggest thing is that now i can go from full to just a little tweak off of 10 and it cleans up easier there's more range in the knob and you're left with more volume but you can still cut that voltage back and clean the clean the pickups up obviously in, like we talked about in our last video it takes a good pickup to be able to do that cheap pickups won't do that by themselves a lot of times but now the combination between the two it is fantastic it works awesome um, and of course the tone is really just a, a lot longer so i actually use audio taper pots in both and what i and i know a lot of people don't necessarily agree with that but what i what i like about it is is it gives me that just little tweak at the top of the 10 here where i can taper off my volume without tapering off my volume too much and i really like what it does to the tone knob because it makes it longer it's like you have lots of adjustment and it doesn't just shut off and i really really like that so that's one cool thing about it and then of course we put the electro socket in now we're using a runway audio cable uh, with a 90 degree and it still works and now it's not going to spin around and do all that kind of stuff and of course the pure tone jack is like nice you know pops in there uh, a couple other notes the classic vibe telly does not have that big lump in the middle that you used to have to grind out if you were going to put real controls in it so that was pretty cool to find out the other thing is is that uh, a lot of the squire tellies have little tiny pots in them and so you'd have to replace your knobs the squire this this one didn't we could use the factory knobs on the new pots which is really cool so it was just really a drop-in thing we sell this as a set on our website so a set of pickups and all of the controls. Well, I'll leave a link to it in the description. So it's like all one thing. You saw how easy it was to install. Super simple. We actually do have a solderless option as well for a little bit more where you just use a little screwdriver and install. Maybe we'll do a video specifically on how to install one of those. But yeah, man, what an upgrade. And I just really like the control that it gives me. The more adjustability because again, I'm like a amp and no pedals kind of guy so this is really cool anyway i want to share this with you today in our next video we're probably going to do some fun stuff with um maybe string through versus not string through top loader which would be kind of cool make sure you do me a favor and hit the subscribe button like i said earlier we've got a video coming out on wednesday which is our news and we have our live video on thursday nights so Dylan Talks Tone's been fun lately, and I've got a couple other surprises. There's a guitar over there that you don't know about yet. Well, you do, but you don't, but you do, but you don't, if you followed the channel for a while. There's a guitar over there. It's very interesting, and we're going to do a very interesting guitar comparison that I think is going to be kind of unexpected, and I think you're going to dig it, so make sure you stick around. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you in the next video.